this one is where I applied the crumbs on it. Remove the, the excess one. This unicorn chrome is freaking stunning. There's like six, seven of them. It's gonna you're gonna see it shortly. Great. So now we'll put some sticker, yes? Instead of chanfer void, we can do some sticker on it. Maybe we can do um we're talking about let's try something different though everyone let's see the corner of this we're talking about i'm gonna see how it turns out ah. let's do some corner Oh, it looks good, everyone. I put right on the top of that. Just trim the excess. Great. You can do it on the, the other way. Oh, just great. And then maybe on the edges. Don't know afraid to try something different, everyone. Look at this. this we'll never go wrong with this though. Look at that. Okay, great. You're all done. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. I'm gonna add some uh, 3D. Okay, from this um this set, I think it's the unicorn set one or two. They are so stunning and they're so affordable price and there's so many um stunning uh, image in there for you to play with. I am going to using. Before that, I'm gonna add a little bit of a base. Uh, gels on at uh, this section because I am going to I'm like a 40 uh, gels in it I need just a little bit of surface of tacky layer I'm gonna put not put it into my uh, gels beautiful um, image stickers already I'm just using in this part so here for about 15 seconds and I have a right here my passionate pink and using my other end of uh, crystal pickers. Just smaller pieces. And you got a piece of paper, the big one. Thank you. It's so much fun to enjoy with you ladies. Like we're going from liquid and powder, dipping powders, and then we're going to nail art and then stickers and chant for four. It's a lot of fun to being like learning. And thank you so much for always joining with me. So I'm not using this. If you want your flower to be big, then you get it bigger beads. But if you want smaller, then just get the smaller beads. Let's see smaller beads how it turn out. Just this one. Leave it right here just for your for your um I'm using a smaller. Can you see it now? And then I'm gonna using just the edges of and lay it on my kind of flat on the sides and spread it out.
Now you're gonna do it like a circle motion and then Great. Cute one's flowers. I'm gonna pick another one. And do it the same thing. Maybe you can do three or four or whatever. And it's so flexible, so soft, so easy to mow that. And I didn't even use any solution at all. Just, just circle it like using your motion, circle it. And just stop touch. There you go. Do another one. Facebook, can you see me? Uh, somehow Facebook, it doesn't work though. Can you share on Facebook? Sarah, can you share it on Facebook? Or Brad, can you share it on Facebook? Because we didn't share. Can share uh, Sarah or Brad's shares on Facebook and have your code in please that'd be awesome and I'm gonna using the 4D brush uh, 3D brush, I'm sorry. My 3D brush and the other ends for acrylic. You see me the other day I did it and the other ends uh, will be is for a 4D. Thank you, Sarah. You can do this using the green one. Should I do a green one? No, I'm gonna using a green crystal, huh? Maybe green. Should I do with Bahamas or should I do yellow? Um, can I get the green one? I'm gonna do some green on it. Just a little bit. Don't need to hold that. And then I will put the yellow crystal because we did the um, Bahamas, which is kind of a pick that one up. Just use a little bit smaller beads.
and just using the tip of the brush Super cute. You can take this off because I'm going to do some green on this one. At first, I want to do pink, doesn't matter, but I am going to do green on that one to make it match. The smaller beads. This when you're doing a leaf, you just need just a little bit. It doesn't have to be really, really like perfect because when I put some, we are going to put some crystals on it. And if you are like feel like you want to add more uh, leaf, like the green leaf, I just clean up a little bit pink right there. I can see it. You might not able to see it, but I can see it on my side right there. Great. If you, you can add more leaves on it as this goes along, but I think it's good because I'm going to add some crystals on it to get it blinked out. Um, here we go one more time. This is my 4D, 3D brush for 4D gels in the dual end. I've been using it so many times for my 3D brush. That's why you're seeing it, and it's so compact. It's two in ones. One for your 40 and uh, D-gel and one for the acrylic. Um, I'm going to do, before I'm here, uh, before I'm applying the crystal, I am going to like a key, a quick flash key for 30 seconds. So then I will not mess up my 40 gels. Great. Here's a, what we have done so far. Look at that. So you can do the do pink one. You can do a yellow one. I did try the yellow ones right here, but I didn't key it yet because I'm going to change that to get more. Hi, thanks so much, Tina Max, because if you um get someone's is um like to watching, I'm going to share some on Facebook just in case someone want to sing it. It's nice to get a little bit of break from for everyone to be like um take a moment to break like a not less worry and just you know let your brains relax a little bit. Okay, so condensed glue gel. Really thick density. There's uh one more second. I'm going to share to a few group of whoever would like to learn it. It's all free from us. 